Hey everyone, I thought I would jump on today and share the new car seat, I guess you would call it, for the boys. For when they have to go to the vet. Yes. And look who's in there. Look who's in there. <laughs> he jumped right in there as soon as I got it all put together. Yes, he did. <laughs> Kitty says this would be good for me too. Um, if if it had a top, it would be good for a kitty in the car. Yeah, because you'd jump out for sure. So, if you guys remember uh, a couple videos back, I had taken Magnum and Grant to the vet together. And I said, never again will I take both together. Um, and if you remember, I was telling you how Grant was constantly moving around in the car. Even with the seatbelt tether on, he was getting off the seat and then he was kind of like not hanging there but he could get on the ground he was just all over the place and i said never again i have to get something to contain grant for sure um and then i thought you know what it'd be better for all the boys and a lot of you guys have said hey you shouldn't have your dog in the front seat i agree i should not have them in the front seat so we bought this contraption to contain the boys in a back seat so um let, let me go see what they're barking at hold on okay there were some road workers outside um doing something out there so if you hear the boys barking i apologize if you hear my dryer going i apologize and i also have a humidifier running because it's very dry in the house from having the heat on because it's so cold and snowy out let's see so we've got the heat going a little higher today because it's so cold. So, um, so this is made by NJ NJ. This was not sent to me. This video is not sponsored. I purchased this with money that I was kindly set, sent at Christmas time for the boys to use for whatever I needed for the boys. So thank you very much for any of you, you who sent um, Christmas money for the boys. I've also stacked them up on treats and other things too. But this is one of the products I've purchased for the boys uh, with that money. So it has a strap here that hooks on your, it's long because I have it completely. <laughs> well, <laughs> Kitty, what are you doing? You playing with it? Um, you can adjust it to shorten it up. But this goes around the front headrest. And then there's one back here to go on the back headrest to keep it in place. And then it also has these two holes here. So you can put your seatbelt through whichever way you need to, to hold it on the bottom. And then it also came with a seatbelt tether, which I have multiple seatbelt tethers, but it also gives you one. So whatever hole you're not using for the seatbelt to strap this in place, you can put this through and it adjusts to in length. You can put it through another hole to con to insert into another seat belt. So then you can hook it to your dog's harness. Um, and so that holds them in place oh, <laughs> inside of the carrier as well. Um, I was just going to get a crate. Let go, kitty. kitty. Let go. <laughs> I think he thinks this is his new little bed. Yes. Um, I was going to get it. Let me see if I can move it back a little here. Okay. I was gonna get a um, crate, but then I thought, how am I gonna get Grant out of it without him trying to bite me? Because um, if you're a longtime viewer, you know, Grant is a little bitey, especially when he's nervous. So I saw this, when I saw this one on Amazon, I saw that you can un-Velcro either side, um, and it has a zipper here that you can unzip. Oh, let me see if I can do this one-handed. You can unzip. Oh, hold on, guys. Let me get that unzipped. And then you can pull the side down so I can get him out easier. So I think that's going to work perfect for Grant. Yes, I do. So, and it's tall. Um, I don't think I'll have any problems with him trying to jump out of it. Grant doesn't do that, um, especially with the seatbelt tether on. Um, we're gonna have to experiment with it. Let me put the sides back up. Hold on, guys. Okay, I put Miggy in there to show you guys how tall it is. It's pretty tall, 
Um, if they, if one of the younger dogs really wanted to jump out, they probably could try, but I don't think they will. I think because it's so tall. Kitty, <laughs> you're making Mickey nervous. <laughs> I don't think they will, but we're going to have to experiment with it and see. Um, if it, if I think it's going to be too much of a problem, them trying to get out, um, I'll have to go with something else. Um, but I think it's going to be just perfect. Yes, I do. Um, yeah, so I just wanted you to see my dogs are all between, uh, 16, 15 pounds to 20 pounds. Um, so they'll fit in there perfectly. So you could fit even a bigger dog in here if you wanted to as well. You want out, Miggy? <laughs> He's like, what's going on? But as you can see, it's kind of, it's like mesh. It's got PVC pipe here that you put in. But once it's um, strapped to that front headrest and the back headrest and that seatbelt's on, it's going to be sturdy. So um, we'll have to get it in the car here and see what we think and maybe take a little ride with one of the boys. Well, guys, I was looking at the installation instructions and it shows that you can put it in the front seat. You can connect it up there. I know I said I was gonna put it in the back seat, but I'm more comfortable with my dogs in the front seat with me. And the reason being is because my dogs get nervous when they're at the vet, shake, have anxiety. So what I will do, I know some people are gonna be mad because everybody says, what if you get in a wreck and the airbag goes off? And I agree. So my car has the option to have the airbag on or off. So what I will do, and I never thought about this before, and I don't know why, when my dogs are riding with me to the vet, which that's the only place they're ever in the car usually with me for, um, I'll just turn the airbag off when they're traveling in the front. Cause I'm just more comfortable with them in the front so I can see them and I can try to calm their nerves a little bit. So that's what we're going to do. So I didn't even notice this when I was looking at them earlier, but you can also install it in the front seat too. All right, it's later in the day. We've got Miggy hooked up here in the front seat. I hooked it up a little bit different than what they wanted. I got this around the headrest, but I hooked the other one. Um, they wanted you to put that around the headrest too, but then there would be straps in the way of Miggy's head. So I wrapped it around the whole back um, the seat here. So his, his car seat isn't going anywhere. No. Cause I realized having it in the front seat, I couldn't put the seat belt through the holes because then I wouldn't be able to hook him to the tether with the seat belt tether hooked into the seat belt latch. You could do that in the back seat, but not the front. So that's why I finagled it up that way. So the seat's not going to go anywhere. And then Miggy can still be tethered. So he can't, jump out of the car if I open the door, jump over into my lap, um, stuff like that. So I think it's pretty, pretty darn secure. So it comes with a waterproof mat, but I think um, if I, when I take the dogs out, if I have to take them to the vet or anything, I'll probably throw a blanket just on the bottom, um, especially since it's winter and it's cold. I let the uh, car warm up, so the car's warm probably don't need a blanket. I'm just, <laughs> I spoil them. So I would probably normally have a blanket inside of this, but you don't need to. Um, it's plenty comfortable. You can hear them whining a little bit because we're going to be going on a ride. Um, but like I said, how that side unzips. Oh, hold on. My husband's phone is connected. Hold on guys. Okay. I'm back. I had to get out of the driveway because I'm in my um, husband's car that he normally drives and <laughs> a phone call was coming through because I was parked right by my husband's shed um, where he, he was inside the shed with his phone and it was connecting to the car so I didn't want the conversation to come on in the car and then be on the video. So I'm going to pull into this parking lot real quick. We just did a little short drive. Miggy did great. Didn't try to jump out or anything. He did try to still, he can still jump up and get his paws on the window. He wanted to look out the window so he can still do that. But he seems comfortable sitting in there. 
Um, as I was saying, when the, let me put the car in park. Um, and the reason I'm in my husband's car and not mine is we traded my car in and got a different vehicle. So um, I'm just in this car for today. But anyways. <laughs> um, so as I was saying, over here, we're parked now. So now he wants to get out. He thinks we're, we're not where we're supposed to be yet. Nope. So remember how I showed you earlier in the video, the sides will zip down. So when I have Grant in here, instead of having him enclosed, because I was thinking about getting a crate, the crate he would be completely enclosed and I would have to open the front and try to pull him out from the front and that would be terrible with Grant because he's bitey as you know so since I can zip the sides down here all I've got to do is get him from the side I can have his leash on him and just get him out from the side right out the door so that's going to be very convenient so we're not we're not going in this store honey I'm by a, a family dollar <laughs> you think we're getting out and going in there no, we're not. We're just taking a break for a second. So I'm going to continue to drive around, see how he does. But I think it's just going to, this is going to work out perfect. Yes. But see how they're very nervous? He's kind of whiny. I don't know if you can hear it. But if I have him in the front seat, I can just see, I can drive and pet him and calm him down so he knows everything's okay. He's going to be fine. If he's in the back, it might be worse. So don't give me any grief, guys. But I have the, I don't know if you can see up there. Probably not. The passenger airbag is off, so if, God forbid, I got in an accident, the airbag will not go off and hurt him. Um, and he's secure with his seatbelt tether and in this car seat, so yes. All right, let's drive around a little bit, and I'll let you know how he does. All right, we're in the neighborhood that we used to live in when, we, when I first started making Schnauzer Mom videos, and Miggy's been doing great. He's been riding along just fine, just looking out the window. Um, so I thought we'd drive by the house we first lived in when I uh, started making videos. Um, if you've been a very long time subscriber, I think I started posting videos regularly um, about eight years ago. It's been about eight years ago I started posting them regularly. Um, Mickey's wondering where we're at because I'm kind of slowing down. <laughs> um, he'll remember this house. I don't know if he'll remember the front of it. Um, but he'll remember the house that had the front like sunroom. Um, where the dogs would skid in the cat tree and look out the window. There it is right there. That brown house right there big windows in the front there. That's where the boys used to look out and watch the day go by. There it is. That was the house we lived in. We rented that house for five years. Five years, Miggy. Um, that's where we got Miggy as a puppy. That was his first home. So, yeah. So we're going to go home. Mickey did great. He hasn't tried to jump out. He's been standing in it, which is fine. He hasn't tried to jump out. Um, he's still kind of whiny. <laughs> he's always whiny in the car because he's wondering where he's going. <laughs> you should know by now you're not going to the doctor. Yeah, you should know by now you're not going there. We would have been there by now. All right, guys. So I just wanted to share their new car seat. Uh, for when they go to the vet, uh, the real test will be when I have to take Grant. But Grant doesn't have to go to the vet for hopefully a long time. Um, unless an issue pops up. He's He recently had his, didn't he recently have his, um, oh, I think he recently had his heartworm test and uh, all that stuff and a physical. So I don't think he's going to have to go for a long time. Plus he had his issue with his belly. Um, so... Hopefully nothing pops up with him and he doesn't have to go again. Uh, but that'll be the real test. So whenever I have to take Grant anywhere, I'll have to film how he does in the car seat. Because that, like I said, will be the major test. So, all right, guys, I'm going to end the video here. Um, I'll link this product down below in case you're interested in it. Like I said, I purchased it myself uh, with my own money. It was not sent to me and this video is not sponsored. So if you want to check it out, you can check in the link. Uh, that I put in the description box down below. Have a great day guys. Bye